观众朋友，大家好，我现在是站在美国地板零售商 Lumber Liquidators 位于纽约 Union Square 联合广场的样品间门口。作为北美最大的硬木地板零售商 ，Lumber Liquidators 交易大码为 LL， 在全美呢是拥有三百六十家门店，每年的销售额呢也是超过了十亿美金。但是就在日前，哥伦比亚广播公司 CBS 知名的节目《六十分钟》呢，是揭发了 Lumber Liquidators 所销售的产自中国的合成地板当中呢，甲醛含量是严重的超标。据调查显示，目前呢有超过上万的住户正在使用这种可能致癌的合成地板。该消息传出之后呢，该公司的股价是从历史的高价一百二十美元直线下落至二十七美元，并且呢是没有止跌的信号。我们中国投资网将会为大家独家跟踪报道关于此事的最新进展。以下是对两位基金经理的介绍：对冲基金经理 Wesley Tilson 毕业于哈佛，是 Case Capital Management。创始人兼管理合伙人旗下管理着三只价值型对冲基金，他在二零一三年开始卖空 LL 股票，并在二零一五年大赚一笔，名声大噪。Emmanuel n e m s o n 是 Lantern Foundation 的创始人兼总裁，同时还是 n e m s o n Capital Management 首席投资官。Hello, Hi, Mr. Tilson. This is Maggie with ChineseInvestors.com. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Well, thank you for joining us. We have heard from Seeking Alpha that you are adding 3.8 percent more short position on Lumber Liquidators. Can you briefly explain the main reason behind it? Um, sure. Um, to be specific,、um, I more than doubled the number of shares、mm -hmm. uh, that I am short Lumber Liquidators、uh, last week、uh, after the 60 Minutes story aired and after the stock declined.、Mm -hmm. um, The、uh, reason for that is because、um, I think the、uh, what I learned from the 60 Minutes episode,、mm -hmm. and、uh, many people that I have heard from、uh, since the 60 Minutes episode aired,、um, people like、um, it's、uh, installers who worked for Lumber Liquidators, for、mm -hmm. example,、um, uh, competitors, other people in the industry. Um, have given me more conviction that uh, the company uh, has, in fact, been poisoning its customers with、right. dangerous levels of formaldehyde in its products.、Mm -hmm. And I think the likely outcome of that is、uh, a much lower stock price and possibly、uh, bankruptcy for the company. Okay. Then, what do you think about Jenny Capital's buy recommendation? On lumber liquidators, since they have investment banking relationship with lumber liquidators, do you think their buy recommendation is proper?、Um, well,、uh, I think it's completely proper、um, mm -hmm. for an investment bank to,、um, you know, have a buy recommendation on a stock in which they do business with. It's an obvious conflict of interest, but it's well disclosed.、Mm -hmm. And I, of course, have an obvious conflict of interest as well. Um, in that I stand to gain financially if the stock goes down. So everyone, everyone has a conflict of interest here. I will point out most notably the senior management of Lumber Liquidators、mm -hmm. um, has every incentive to downplay this problem and to claim that their products are 100% safe and so forth.、Um, I'll point out that the top two、um, executives at Lumber Liquidators sold 37 million dollars worth of Lumber Liquidators stock. Well, so based on your recommendation, the stock price can go zero, right? You think this is ethical? Is it killing the small companies? Well,、uh, obviously, if the company files for bankruptcy, the stock will go to zero.、Uh, I don't. I, I'm not certain that this is、uh, going to happen, but I think there's a pretty good chance of it. So、uh, we all know a lot of retail companies they import China-made products. So what do you think? What are other companies you think can be the next lumber liquidators?、Um, to my knowledge, there are no other companies.、Um, <laughs> uh, I know you're a Chinese website,、right. so I want to make it clear to your Chinese audience that、uh -huh. my research does not indicate、uh -huh. that all the Chinese wood or、uh, all the Chinese laminated wood is、uh -huh. somehow tainted.、Um, 
uh, there, I have not done the test, but other people have tested uh, laminated wood, uh, some of it from China, mm -hmm. at places like uh, Home Depot and Lowe's, mm -hmm. and there are not dangerous levels of formaldehyde. So this seems to be a, a situation unique to lumber liquidators, where they went to China and um, wanted to pay 10% less for their laminated wood. And the Chinese mills, it's a, it's a very competitive business. My understanding is there are hundreds, if not thousands, of mills producing laminated wood, uh, that there were some mills that, in order to get to business, were willing to uh, uh, accept the 10% lower price uh, well, we know that Warren Buffett once warned that selling short is very risky. We know uh, that you're a fan of Buffett. So on the other hand, you're shorting lumber liquidators and some other stocks. Can we have some spoil alert about your shorting strategies? Um, yes, um, I'm Emma uh, Buffett fan, um, <laughs> and, uh, um, and and I think he is exactly right that shorting is a very difficult and dangerous business um, and that the vast majority of investors are well served never to do it. Um, and in fact, um, I have, have learned this lesson myself and consequently uh, do very little shorting. Um, I only have six short positions in my portfolio today. Mm -hmm. Today is the largest, but I have you know, approximately triple that number of long positions. Um, my fund is mostly a long-focused uh, fund where I just try and find good companies that I can hold for many years and that uh, compound in value over time, just like what Warren Buffett preaches and does. And one last question. Do you think Lumber Liquidator will rectify its problems and have recovery? Um, I do think Lumber Liquidators, uh, with all of this adverse publicity and uh, the regulatory investigations that are already underway, is absolutely going to clean up its act very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it will start paying 10% more to buy its laminated products in China, and I think the Chinese mills um, will start uh, producing uh, non-toxic wood. And one last question. Do you think Lumber Liquidator will rectify its problems and have recovery? Um, I do think lumber liquidators, uh, with all of this adverse publicity and uh, the regulatory investigations that are already underway, is absolutely going to clean up its act very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it will start paying 10% more to buy its laminated products in China, and I think the Chinese mills um, will start uh, producing uh, non-toxic wood. So the second part of your question is, is mm -hmm. do I think, you know, after doing so, lumber liquidators is going to be A-OK? -okay? I don't uh -huh. think so. Uh, I think they've been selling tainted wood for a long period of time. Uh -huh. uh, I think there are tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of American uh, homeowners mm -hmm. have dangerous lumber liquidators wood in their homes. I think lumber liquidators uh, will be forced to pay to test to see if there are uh, any dangers in, in that wood. Um, do you have any investment recommendations for our audience, Chinese investors who are interested in, in the U.S. stock market? You know, just to be careful. Uh -huh. um, it's uh, a company, there are, there are a lot of good companies here, and uh -huh. in general, uh, the United stock, uh, the United States stock market um, mm -hmm. is is uh, well regulated, and uh, there are many good companies. And generally, you can rely on the financial statements um, and the behavior of the companies, uh, which I know is not always true in China. Uh, China is a, a much less developed uh, market, um, and so you have to be much more careful in China investing in China. Uh, but, uh, but you still have to be careful investing in the United States as well, because as you can see from lumber liquidators, uh, you know, there are companies out there that are doing the wrong thing and uh, that can cause their stocks to, um, you know, collapse. In this case, lumber liquidator stock is down about 75% from it. Right, right. Anyway, we're going to
还进行了采访，比如说目前很多人在做空 LL， 他是否还对 LL 抱有信心呢 ？Lemson 表示，公司对 LL 并没有信心，因为这家公司的 CEO Tom Sullivan 并不是工厂误报制作过程和材料的主因。鉴于这一点，我们鼓励他以董事长和创始人的领导者身份去处理这场危机，即使是从中赚到钱的 w i l s o n 可能也希望能够更加的保护到美国家庭的健康。而另外 ，LL 在二零一一年到二零一三年将利润提高一倍，他会怎么看呢？他表示，单纯的中国工厂不合格产品的供货所带来的成本结余是不可能让利润翻倍的。实际上 ，LL 利润率在过去两年内确实实现了翻倍，但这主要是由于收入相应增加的结果。而在这段期间 ，LL 股价来到了一百一十九美元的高位，那是哪些因素推动了股价的上涨呢？他表示，不断增长的营收利润通常这会使股价同步上涨。我们得知 LL 的 CEO。Tom Sullivan 声称有一批律师正在起诉 LL， 他们正在卖空 LL 的股票。而 Emmanuel Lamson 怎么看待做空策略呢？他表示没有任何披露表明律师参与了做空 LL， 是 w i s n e y 和其他投资者在做空 LL， 或存在很多债务。并且这些债务很可能继续增加，且公司财务在最开始就不是很强，所以做空方在此次交易中判断正确。而我们的最后一个问题是，做空策略将如何影响 LL 未来的股价呢？他表示，在这种情况下，可能真的存在潜在健康风险，但仍需观察公司是否有任何不当的行为。本网记者于三月十日上午。去往 Lambert Liquidators 位于纽约联合广场的样板间，要求拍摄采访，但遭到店内工作人员冷漠拒绝。记者随后来到联合广场，随机走访了数位当地群众，询问了他们关于 Lambert Liquidators 甲醛地板事件的看法。由于在门店采访受阻呢，我们是被迫来到了联合广场 Union Square。我们想要跟大家介绍一下甲醛到底是什么。我们常听说甲醛会致癌，那么它到底是什么？在哪里？我们看得到、闻得到吗？其实木板当中啊，并不存在甲醛。甲醛呢，是在木板和木板粘合出的胶水里才会有甲醛的存在。甲醛的释放期呢，大概是三到十五年，被称为是室内第一杀手。对于老人、孩子以及慢性病的患者呢，都是尤为严重的。而甲醛轻微超标时呢，并不易被察觉，只有当超标四到五倍时，才能够嗅出气味。我们知道中国的观众呢，可能会经常听说甲醛超标、超标的事情。我们下面呢，就来听一下联合广场的美国群众们对于甲醛超标这个事件的看法是怎样的。Ah,、uh, nice to meet you. Have you heard about this story? t h a t CBS 60 Minutes. They reported that lumber liquidators, ah,、uh, they sell the hardwood floorings with high levels of formaldehyde, which may cause cancer. Oh, I I heard about it just recently.、Uh, so, what is your opinion towards this story? Do you think it will be harmful for you and your family's health? I I think it would be. I don't know if the hardwood floor that I have is from this、uh-huh. company, but it sounds pretty irresponsible to do so. Right.、Uh, will it affect your decision of shopping at lumber liquidators? Now that I know this, definitely.、Uh, so, what is your standard when choosing hardwood floorings? I haven't done it myself. Usually, my dad has done that. But、uh-huh. next time I go through that process, I'll know to check, you know, whether this this company has a history of、mm-hmm. using formaldehyde in their hardwood flooring. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank、Thanks、you very so much. Thanks so much.、Uh, so, have you heard about this story?、Uh, the story on 60 Minutes on CBS. They reported that lumber liquidators they are selling the hardwood floorings that contain high levels of formaldehyde, which may cause cancer.、You. Yeah, I did. Now, now I know about it.、Uh, okay, so、yeah. what do you think about this story? Will it affect your decision、uh, yes, of shopping at lumber liquidators? Certainly would. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's just an indication of a lot of things that are wrong on products made、mm-hmm. in China. Oh no!、Uh, okay. Like baby formulas,、okay. uh, herbal supplements.、Okay. Uh, so I'm very hesitant to they get their act together、okay. uh, to buy Chinese products. Okay,、yeah. I see. So, what is your standard when choosing hardwood floorings? I would buy American-made or Canadian-made. Okay,、mm-hmm. something like that. Yes,、okay. right. Okay. Sure. Well, thank、okay. you. Thank okay, you very much.、Uh, nice to meet you. Have you seen the Six and Minutes on CBS that about lumber liquidators? They sell the hardwood floorings with high levels of formaldehyde, which may cause cancer. I didn't see it. No. Uh, so, what is your opinion towards that? Will it, do you think it will be harmful for you and your family's health?、Um, it's, if it's true, it's pretty scary. I, I wouldn't want to get involved with that. Right.、Uh, so, what is your standard when choosing hardwood floorings? <laughs> Something doesn't kill me. <laughs> you know what I mean?、Okay. Yeah, I want to live. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, do you think、uh, is there any? Kind of concern you have about this company will it affect your decision of shopping at lumber liquidators? I mean, I would look into it. If that's true, yes, I wouldn't shop there. No. So. 
Okay. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay. I, have to, I would definitely look into it before buying anything from there now. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, hello, sir. Have you seen this story on 60 Minutes on CBS about lumber liquidators? No, that I they saw sell? it in the New York Times, uh -huh. actually. Okay. I read the article in the Times. That's okay. the only place I have any information from this. Okay. So what do you think about this story about lumber liquidators? They sell the laminate floorings with high levels of formaldehyde, which may cause cancer. Well, there's no question that formaldehyde is a carcinogen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. The article did not say what the levels were. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there is concern in this country that a lot of tainted products have come out of China. Right. So because of that, it has some validity, mm -hmm. and, and they have to do the tests. Now, it's probably not just uh, that company. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, you know, they source from other places. Right. So you have concerns about products that are imported from China? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, because, because of this, uh, some pesticides, foods with pesticides. Mm -hmm. And I think the Chinese themselves are very concerned about this. Okay. You know, at least what, what I've read about other things. Right. Uh, well, uh, will this story affect your decision of shopping at lumber liquidators? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not in the market for lumber right now, uh -huh. but I've thought about where they get their lumber before. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I have friends who have used them, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's just lumber liquid. Uh, excuse me, what's the name? The lumber company, uh -huh. I think, you know, that com they probably source wood for other companies as well. Right, right. You know, and, and what really people need to do is to mm -hmm. see the actual test results mm -hmm. and test results done in this country. Right. You know, there have been similar problems, and there's an article in the paper today mm -hmm. about herbs coming out of China mm -hmm. that are tainted or not or mislabeled. So, yeah, there's concern about that. Right. Are you, are you familiar with formaldehyde? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a degree mm -hmm. in chemistry. <laughs> okay. I'm very familiar with formaldehyde, and I'm uh -huh. very familiar with the fact that it's a carcinogen. Uh -huh. I'm not familiar with the levels that they're talking about. But prior to that, in this country, formaldehyde was an issue after, after the hurricanes when they were uh -huh. rebuilding down in New Orleans uh -huh. that lumber, particularly plywood, and uh -huh. uh, had uh, excess levels of formaldehyde. Uh -huh. That's been an issue independent of China. For a long time. Right. So, what is your standards when choosing hardwood floorings? I'd have to see the test results now, you know, and I'd have to know who did the tests. Okay. Uh, formaldehyde is a known carcinogen, right, unlike right. some of the other products. Right. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Good luck.